Okay, so today I'd like to show you how to transfer purchases like apps, games, and iTunes songs from your iPod Touch to your iTunes library. Now if you already have an iPod Touch, you probably know that you can download apps and songs from your iPod over a wireless connection without ever having to connect to your computer or the iTunes software. However, if you download a new app on your computer and you try to sync it to your iPod, it will delete the apps that are already on your iPod if you haven't already synced those, iP those iPod apps from your iPod to the library. Sounds kind of confusing, but it kind of makes a mess if you don't do that. So today I'm going to show you how to sync apps from the iPod to the library, which iTunes does not do automatically. Okay, so right now I'm looking at the interface of my iPod in the music category. We're going to go up here to Applications, and as you can see there's several apps already on here. Now right now I just downloaded on my iPod Touch the Glue application. I don't know if it's any good or not, but I just tried it because it was free. And as you can see here, it's already synced, but it hasn't shown up in the applications. So I have to do a command to sync it from the iPod to the library. And to do that we can go File, Transfer Purchases, or you can right click on the device and transfer purchases. So we're going to go back to the applications and go transfer purchases and you can see in the window here it's supposed to be doing that. And there it says copying glue. Okay, that's what we want. And you can see it shows up here now. That way when you go to sync the applications in here it shows up. Now when you click this sync applications it'll give you this warning message. Are you sure you want to sync applications? All existing applications and their data on the iPod will be replaced with applications from the iTunes library. That's why it's so important before you sync apps from your library that you make sure all the apps that are on your iPod are already in your library otherwise it will overwrite them and you might lose them or have at least a difficult time retrieving them from your account. But everything is okay so we're going to click sync applications and you get your choice here of which ones you want to sync. Now since I've already gotten a lot of these synced on I'm only going to sync the new ones and I think I did glue and Gucci so I'm going to apply these changes down here. And you can see it's syncing the iPod. Oh, and now you can see it's removing all this, and I didn't want it to do that, so you do have to have everything checked if this is the first time you've done this. So we're going to redo all these and click Apply. And you can see it's installing again. And some of these, if they're, if they're a big game, like, um, say, Assassin's Creed or Shooter, and those even aren't the biggest, but they're over 100 meg. You might sit here for a little while and have to wait for it. But it looks like it's cooking along pretty well. But when you're done syncing and they're done installing all the apps, you can always rearrange them using this panel over here. And you can click the different pages and rearrange these wherever you want them. So if you don't want this glue thingy over here, you can just drag it and drop it. And you can drag and drop the Assassin's Creed to this empty little space over here. Okay, now it says OK to disconnect, so we'll disconnect it. Hopefully that will help you and prevent you from deleting anything you don't want deleted. Just make sure that if you do get that application warning, when you go to sync the iPod that you make sure you have all the apps already synced like we did here so that you don't lose anything.